you ever thought about this, Genesis 6, it's Genesis, Matthew 6, 33, most of us can quote it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these other things shall be what? Added. What does that mean? It means you no longer effort for them. It means they're no longer your responsibility. Which also means they can no longer be where you put your attention. Basically, what Jesus was saying is, you seek the kingdom of God, and God will give you whatever else you're meant to have. It doesn't mean, seek first the kingdom of God, and as long as you're seeking God first, you can then hustle all you want for the other stuff. It means you only have the capacity to seek one thing. Seek it with all your heart, and the one you seek will give you whatever else you need. You know why a lot of us live in lack? Because the thing we're seeking can't take care of us. The thing we're putting our attention in doesn't have the power to give us what we need. And so we want our families to make us be peaceful. They don't have the power. We want our children to give us joy. They don't have the power. We want our jobs to give us security. It doesn't have the power. We want all this other stuff to establish in us what only God can establish in us. And so we keep chasing things, thinking, I need to add this, I need to add this. And Jesus said, if you would seek the one who made you, he will give you what he made you to be. We have to understand is what God's doing in testing us is not finding out but showing. Yeah. Because God knows already. But there's so much stuff living in each one of us that doesn't belong to us and cannot benefit us. And yet we continue to make them what we want for ourselves. God led Israel to hunger. And he led them to hunger so that he could feed them with manna. But he told Moses that he was going to feed them with manna in a particular way so that he could test them. So that he could show them what was in their hearts. So that he could reveal whether or not they were prepared for obedience. Have you ever gone through an experience and when you got in the middle of it, you saw your response and thought to yourself, I, didn't, I thought I was over that. I thought that had already been dealt with. I, I, thought, I didn't think I did that anymore. God's saying, I knew. That's why we're back here again. It's not really our behavior that leads us. It's the Spirit of God knowing our hearts. And don't be ashamed of the condition of your heart. God knows it. And he's so gracious and he's so generous that he's willing to repeat processes that we don't want repeated because he will not leave us in a manner that we are not meant to be. 